In this video, I'll show you how to use the Files app on your iPhone. Now, I'm using the iOS 14 in this particular video, but this would work in any other previous versions as well because there are only a few minor changes which have happened on the Files app in the recent past. So to use the Files app, you simply need to go into the Files app on your phone. The Files app is the blue colored app which you see on your phone. This is the app in front of you, the blue colored folder kind of an application which is created by Apple. Now Files app is very similar to the Windows folders that you see on your PC or the Finder that you see on your Mac. Now again, it functions the same way and it works the same way and that's the reason the name of this application is also called Files. Now I'm not going to make this video with a lot of fluff. It's going to be straight to the point. So let's jump into it. Now to use the files app, you simply need to click on it. And once you click on it, you see the interface wherein you see browse and the other icons and folders displayed in front of you. Now the locations is the place wherein you can store your files and folders. Favorites is the place wherein your favorite folder is there. Now usually you would find the downloads folder over there. And in this video, I will also show you how to download something from your iPhone and store it into your files app. So that's a bonus tip, which I'm going to show you in this video. So for that, stay tuned until the end of this video. Now below the favorite section, you have tags. Now tags is something using which you would be able to find or sort your files and folders at a later stage. So you can keep using tags uh, whenever you want to tag a file or a folder with a certain color or a certain name for that matter. Now, before I jump into the folder section, I would like to show you something about this small three dot circle over here. Now, when you click that three dot circle, you would see three buttons. Now you can scan documents from it. You don't need third party scanning apps. Once you have the files app open, you can connect to a server and browse files from that server. If it is a Wi-Fi enabled server or for that matter, something else. You can also edit the arrangement of the folders which are appearing on the home screen by simply clicking on edit and you can hide certain folders from not appearing on this particular files app. So if you simply click on the red minus icon here, that folder or that location is going to be removed from that favorites section or that tag is going to be removed from the tag section or you can even disable a certain section of the files app. Now, as you might notice, I have the Google Drive app also installed. It's a third party app, Google Drive, you can install it and you can use Google Drive through the files app on your iOS uh, device, uh, iPad or iPhone, doesn't matter. It's a functionality for your iOS device. So you can enable or disable this functionality and start using Google Drive from your files application. So that's how you can edit documents about scanning documents. I will show that to you in a few moments as well. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Now let's jump into iCloud drive. iCloud drive is as the name suggests, this is a drive which is linked with your iCloud account. If your iCloud account has enough data, you can sync files, documents, photos, and whatever you want to the iCloud device so that if God forbid your phone gets crashed, you lose your phone or something bad happens to your phone, your data is safe, your data is secure. You would be able to retrieve your data back from iCloud. You simply need to sign into iCloud by going into iCloud.com, sign in with your iCloud account and you would be able to safely find your data on iCloud on the web. So that's how easy and interesting iCloud is for you. So let me start this video by showing you iCloud Drive. Now, once you go inside iCloud Drive, you have the normal folder structure. You can add folders, you can add images, or you can add anything for that matter. Now, if you want to add a new folder, again, click on the three dots and you select the new folder section. And let me write demo as the name of this particular folder. Now you might have noticed waiting written below the demo folder. Now that was because it is syncing with iCloud when I made it. Now, if you want to add certain folders, if you want to add certain files, you can simply do that while browsing on the internet and simply click on save to files button. Let me show that to you. So let's maybe search for some interesting digital marketing materials because that's something I really love and uh, I really spend a lot of time researching on digital marketing. Neil Patel, I think has a nice blog on 
digital marketing so let's go to a Neil Patel blog okay so let's get in there and let's open one of his blogs I think this is good how brands are using NFTs now if you have uh, followed on the internet you would have uh, heard about a painting being sold for 70 million dollars so that is an NFT and that is how you sell using NFT so this is an interesting article and maybe I want to uh, save a copy of this article into my files app so what I will do is I would simply go up press on the two A's on the top left corner that is basically the section wherein I can enable or disable the readability and I would click on show reader view now you don't have to do all these things if you want to save content into the files app I'm doing this because I want to save this blog as a clean copy into my files app and at the same time I want to show you how this process is done I have enabled the reader mode on Safari and now I simply need to print this document as a PDF and save it to my files app so to do that click on the share button below and once below you can click on the print button over here and once the print is enabled you would get the document the blog in a nice document format which you can simply print as PDF now you don't see the print as PDF button on your uh, printer options inside iOS so you simply need to pinch out this document and the PDF view opens up so let me just pinch out this document very quickly and uh, here it is this is the PDF version of this particular document now if you want to save this document into your files app for future reference again click on the share button over here and once you are in the share button you would get the option of save to files and once you have clicked on save to files you would be able to choose which folder you want to save this particular PDF in now I have created the folder called demo inside my iCloud Drive so I will choose that folder in order to save this particular PDF document in the iCloud Drive so let me click on the demo folder and up on the top you can update the name of this file as well how brands are using NFTs pretty good name I think I will leave it as it is and I'll say done now once it is created you can simply click on save now consider you don't have the folder already created you can click on the new folder button just next to the save icon and create the new folder on the go now since I have it already created for myself I will simply say save and it's done now if I cancel this and go back into my files app over here and jump back into iCloud Drive demo I would be able to see that file inside the demo folder very easy very simple the reason why you need to use the files app if you are an iPhone user is organizing your data tomorrow you might need to get that document very quickly in a meeting and you might just be running around and finding it in your emails now that is a cumbersome process put it in your files app put it on the iCloud Drive and you will never lose it you would have it organized you would have it synced with your iCloud account and that is the peace of mind which you want with your iOS devices so that is about using the files app now let's talk about the bonus material on this particular video I had promised that I will show you how to download content from the internet into your files app so let's do that right now now to download content let's maybe search for some free videos which we can download maybe so let's go to pexels.com this is a website which gives you free stock videos and let's maybe download some videos from here I think I like the video with the corals over here it's by Tom Fisk and uh, I think this is a good download let's probably watch the video very quickly before downloading it it's a two and a half minute long video I think uh, you don't have the patience for that so I think this is a good enough video to download so let's pause the video and click on downloads so the moment I click on free download the download starts and it's asking me whether I need to download the video and I would say yes I need to download the video and this video is being downloaded as you can see on the top right corner of my screen the download is functional if you can click on it you would be able to see that this video is being downloaded as we speak now while we wait for the file to download let me show you a few more tricks on using the files app on the iOS devices so inside the demo folder we had downloaded this particular document from uh, Neil Patel's website and uh, now I want to probably put a tag on top of it called work right so I will simply say tags 
and I will select work. So next time I want to look into any of my work related documents, I can simply search for the work tag from the home screen of files and I would be able to find that document from Neil Patel. So that's how simple and easy is to use tags inside the files app. Now, next I want to do maybe some markup while learning from the blog, while reviewing the blog, I want to maybe mark up a few content on this particular document. So for doing that, I can simply open the document and enable the markup tool from the top right corner of the screen and I can use that. I can maybe use the highlight tool over here, change the color. Let's maybe do a yellow color over here and use the highlight tool and I can start highlighting portions which I want to use. Now that's not highlighting, I think it's like marking. So let's go back, uh, reduce the opacity to maybe 50. Come back here, select the color and I think now we are highlighting few portions on this document. Now if you want to move or scroll through the document while you are in the markup mode, you can use two fingers and scroll up or scroll down. So let's scroll up a little bit and then maybe mark another portion of this particular document. So that's how you can use markups while using a PDF document inside the files app or throughout the iOS environment for that matter. Now the video has been downloaded and we can see how the video appears on the files app. So the video was downloaded inside the downloads folder and that is by default it is always downloaded in the downloads folder and you can see the video has come and you can even play it and enjoy the video now this is a stock video and i'll put the link in the description for this particular video and for pixels.com so that you can use some of the stock videos from pixels as well now before i end this video i would like to show you two more tips on using the files app you can easily rename, copy, duplicate, move these folders by simply clicking on these files. Click and hold the files until the menu opens and you can do any action if you wish to. Now if you want to move the file, simply click on move and select the folder in which you want to move this file into. So that's how easy and simple it is on using the files app. Now as I promised, I'm also going to show you one more bonus in this video and that is how you can scan documents without using any other third party applications. Now, sometimes scanning apps are costly, but Apple has built in scanning apps for you to use through the files app. Now this is also available in the notes application of your phone, but the files app can directly save that scan document into files. And that is something I really like and I use it personally. So let's show you how to do that. Now to do that, simply go into the files app, any section you want, you can go into the iCloud drive or any other folder and then start scanning a document over here. Now to do that, you simply click on the three dots on the top right corner, click on scan documents and your camera opens up. Now I have a document over here in front of me and I'm going to show you how to scan that document very quickly. So position the document in front of you click the camera and then you can simply crop this image and make the image shorter, smaller and only to cover the area of that particular document. So let's crop this document here. Now this is a cover of a Domino's wrapper. I couldn't find anything else. So that's the reason I'm using this and I'll say keep scan. Now once the scan has happened, now as you can see it has flattened the image and made it printable. Using the scan app on files or notes on your iOS devices, you can easily scan documents and print them. Because the moment you take a photo and print them, you have a black tint over these photos. But if you use the scan app on your iPhone or any other third party application for that matter, that black tint won't come and that is the reason you need to use a scanning app. So all in all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next one, take care, stay safe and have a nice one.